Hi, I'm Marlon Manalo. I was born and raised in Mandaluyong City. I started playing pool at the age of 13, and my father is the one who encouraged me to play this game, this beautiful game. I, I, start, I also play snooker from 1991 till 2003, and in 2003, I started uh, playing professional in pool. At the beginning, I was only playing this just for fun and for uh, curiosity. I only realized that this is a game and a sports. When I entered my first international events in Southeast Asian Games, when I won uh, two gold medals and one silver, my first international events. That was in 1991. And from then, I stick to snooker till 2003. Yeah, um, but before I was playing pool, like for two years or two, two, two to three years, I was playing pool and I started uh, playing 1991 because uh, the only way to get in for the national team is to play snooker because during that time, the national team was uh, composed of uh, Efren, Django, Jose Parica in, in full event the only available spots for you to enter the national team or to be included to represent your country is to play snooker. So I, I, I have to qualify for that game and luckily I was qualified in snooker and that's the, my stepping stone to be in the team, in the Philippine team. Really, uh, it's, snooker is very hard compared to, harder compared to pool because in snooker you have to spend your whole day. In pool you can only practice two to three hours a day. In snooker you have to practice the whole day. And uh, the, the patting is you have to be precise. And uh, in pool you don't have to be, all your shots not to be precise. Even it hit the joes, it still come in. But in snooker, you have to be precise, and the tables are big, bigger, like a 6 by 12 compared to 4.5 by 9 by pool table, and the pocket are smaller compared to pool. Yeah, because uh, from the beginning, I was only playing now this I, I was only playing pool because of the my great motivator of playing pool is the love of the game but now i realize as i grow older that the, i have some responsibility especially when i represent our country in international events and uh, bringing our flag and it's a big responsibility you have to be uh, responsible and uh, dedicated to do your best in every tournament uh, especially in the world and uh, Asian games. You have to do your best because you're not only representing yourself, you're representing your country. I think uh, <coughs> we are a family that we can eat whatever we want. We can, we're living a comfortable life in short because uh, we have a business back in Manila. We have, uh, I have also a pool hall. A, my mother have a grocery and a bakery that uh, is the business that uh, send us to school. And uh, just like what I say from the beginning, this is only a hobby. I will never think because uh, in pro professionally, I am an AB economics graduate. I never thought that this is uh, one way to earn my living by playing pool. Yeah, yeah, now I'm playing pool. And I still have, uh, back in my life, I still have a pool hall, like uh, 12 tables. Yeah, I have uh, <coughs> three, three sisters and two brothers. All of them are have their own family and uh, my two brothers 
or one is a police officer, police colonel back in Manila, and uh, I have another brother who is a businessman. Uh, yeah, because uh, not not uh, not in our place. That's happening in, uh, in back in in Manila. Not in our place because uh, we live in a higher place, and it also affects us in the sense that our compatriots uh, were really devastated by this uh, typhoon Undoy. And uh, in the Philippines, the uh, our heart is very soft when it comes to the this uh, tragedy. We call it tragedy. And uh, it really affects us, and uh, that's where the Filipinos show their uh, their camaraderie and uh, how helpful to how helpful to each other during during these times of uh, tragedy. In the Philippines, we spoke uh, we spoke Tagalog, but. Uh, for you to inform, uh, we were uh, in the past uh, five decades or uh, six decades. We were uh, colonized by the Americans. That's why uh, the Filipinos is our second language is English. In the Philippines, it's a different thing. If you will say managed player. It's not that you are getting money from them once they won. You are just giving them help, like uh, for their practice. You you give them a uh, food. You give them a uh, like a uh, food for their family and uh, money to support their uh, tournaments abroad or in local. But uh, that's 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 how my father's manages players compared to this nowadays that uh, managers in the Philippines get a certain percentage from the players when they won when they won prizes in any tournaments. In only in, in only in tournaments you can only make money in tournaments, but in when you say of the money game you cannot make a lot of money because uh, there, there's not a lot of uh, big stakeholders in Manila you can only make money when you won a bigger tournament like a uh, world pool where we're having that in this year and uh, local tournaments like a uh, 10 grand a year uh, 10 grand every three months or thrice a year Yeah, uh, uh, one hundred dollars can do a lot back in Manila. If you're going back to Manila, if you're bringing back one hundred dollars in Manila, we can do a lot. We can buy a, like a sack of rice, uh, food for 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 um, for two weeks. And compare here, uh, at least here, if you are earning here like twenty dollars a day, you cannot live here in in U.S. But in Manila, twenty dollars. A day, if you're earning that, you will live a very comfortable life. My first, uh, my first mentor and uh, the first person that I like was our national coach, Mr. Ramon Akaha. We call him a uh, Ramon Champion because he's, he's the one also who teaches Epren. When Epren cannot beat Jose Parica, and this guy, our national coach, Ricardo Ancaja, we call them Ramon Champion because he's champion of different uh, fields. He's the one who gives me inspiration. And up to now, when I have a problem with my with my game, I still go with him. I will go to him and consult whatever problems uh, what whatever problems I am undergoing. In the beginning, 2003, I was practicing a lot, but uh, until the the IPT, I was practicing a lot. Then, when when the IPT died down, 
once I, I, I mellow down for a while, now I'm coming back and I, and I feel that my game is coming back now. Yeah, in my first in my first week, I was really struggling because in Manila I was busy with my business because uh, I'm busy with my kids, and I also decided me to go here so to concentrate on on pool because in Manila I was so busy with my kids and I love staying with them the whole day, <laughs> and sometimes I forget to practice and it really helps me when I stay here here in America because. My only focus is play pool and uh, practice. For me, the most important for me on my experience, the most important thing is not the length of time are you practicing. It's the quality of time you are practicing and how much concent concentration are you giving on your practice. It doesn't matter if you're practicing like for an hour with full concentration, rather practicing eight hours just banging a balls. Mm -hmm. What is important for me is uh, quality practice and quality time. In the beginning, uh, in the beginning when I uh, shipped from snooker to pool, uh, I have a beautiful queue. My father bought me like a, in Philippines, $1,200. It means a lot. Not, and may, maybe 5% of the Filipino who are playing, more than 5% or less, are having that uh, 1,200 kids playing, playing pool uh, seriously that have that queue. But uh, my father is very generous to me, and he bought me that queue. But now the predator, that's my first uh, expensive queue was that predator. And now the predator is very supported, supportive to me that they are giving me queue whenever I ask. That's, that was a funny thing, because that's the, in our place, I live in the heart of a, uh, a part of Manila, Mandaluyong is the heart of Manila. That was also my first tournament, the Mandaluyong Open. When I, what my intentions and my dad's intention is only to join the tournament to get an experience. But uh, fortunately, Nagad is so great that I was able to win the tournament. That was my first tournament in 1988, the first Abalos, Mayor Abalos Cup. No, it was a rotation, 61. <laughs> I was really shaking when I was about to shoot my last ball for my first trophy. I was really, really shaking. Rotation is a, <clears throat> you have to shoot the, it has consists of 15 balls, 15 object balls and one cue ball and the first one who reaches uh, 61 points won the game, and that's simple as that. And uh, if it's snookered, you can make a spot. Unlike in a nine ball, you cannot say spot. In Philippines, you can when you are stuck or snookered, you can make also a spot. And your opponent will gonna shoot the the ball from the spot and from the head string, and that's the difference. No, you cannot give ball in hand in rotation, Manila. That's hard there because uh. Once you, you make a spot, you only, you're, you are only hoping for your opponent to miss the shot, the spot shot. And, uh, and, in the, and it also helps you to make your safety good. My latest was uh, I was the current uh, national champion in the Philippines. 
and uh, the last one is the tri-state and the <laughs> last night also the small tournament Mika is a great very great player I like Mika I love his game I like his strokes but uh, what what can you do if you don't have a chance what Apron can do if he's, he's just sitting? What uh, uh, Ronnie Sullivan can do if he's just sitting? It's nothing. You you can only do, you can only you can only do a thing when you are on the table. But when you're up up the table, it doesn't matter who you are. You can do nothing. Ah, you know because uh I treat my uh, my co-players as my uh, as my uh, my fellow traveler in a journey called pool. I don't treat them like enemy. I I treat them as my friend, and they will help me to to travel. And they that's uh, that's why I call them my my fellow traveler in a journey called pool. And they help me to to sharpen my skill whenever I play a good players. Yeah, we also miss our kids, but uh, we also find a real friend like uh, Romilo. We find it will also ease our uh, loneliness for our kids, and also with my uh, wife Cynthia. That uh, it also is our pain. But it, in in everything uh, you do, you have, you cannot be at the same time in the same same place. And sometimes, if you want something, you have to sacrifice. You cannot have everything. The best thing that you can do is, uh, you know, I believe in pool of gods. That's why he, he, he distributed it equally. You cannot be lucky every time. But uh, when I'm not in, uh, like what you said, if, if everything is uh, happening against you, uh, I, I'll make it as a, another uh, challenge or how can I cope uh, when the things uh, never happen the way the way I want it to be? I'll just make it a challenge, and uh, this is a uh, and this is this is one thing that I, I like in pool. If if everything is always going along with you, pool is not <laughs> it's not a challenging anymore. That's the challenge of pool, you know. And uh, let's I, I'm just thinking of uh, what what is the best that I can do when these things happen to me. Yeah, yeah. I also get mad at myself. But uh, that's the thing that I was, I was uh, trying to eliminate because it only shows, sometimes it only shows that a human, when, uh, when I miss easy shots, everybody misses easy shots. And uh, it only shows that we are human. And that's good that I'm still a human. <laughs> if I will not miss, I am no longer a human. <laughs> there is a guy from a match room. Uh, his, his name is Matthew. He was asking me the first time we played in the, it was still a qualifier when I played in Taiwan. And he said, do you have any nickname? You're the only player in the Philippines that doesn't have a nickname. I said, I don't have. Okay, I'll give you. It's okay for you that uh, we call you the Marvelous Marlon. <laughs> All right. And that's, that's the morning or day calling me now. A friend. Many times I played him in the World Pool in, in Kaohsiung. Uh, I also played him in... IPT in Las Vegas. I also played him in the World 8 Ball in the finals in Dubai. I beat him in a uh, World Pool. He beat me in a uh, World 8 Ball. I beat him in IPT. Uh, 
sometimes it's not very satisfying you're beating your idol and uh, you know it's hard it's hard when playing Epen not only because of the game because I don't want to see and I, 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 I don't want to see Epen is losing it hurts me <laughs> but what can I do if I'm playing with him <laughs> but I hurt I don't want I I hate it more when I see myself losing <laughs> when playing with him but uh, still he said he also told me that uh, when we are playing because I told him about that that's it, it, it feels bad to me when I beat you but it also feels bad if you beat me but then he told me when we are on the table we are not friends we are we are enemies and after that we're friends again and that's that's the thing that is sticking in, in my mind so that's it No, in 2005 was my uh, debut when I won uh, my first debut was in my first American tournament was in BCA when I placed third. My second tournament is the Reno Open when I won. That's my first Reno Open and Sacramento Open. I also won the in 2005, also the same year. I won the $100,000 Texas Hold'em and uh, 2006 the IPT after that. The last time I played was in 2007 when I played uh, Rodney Morris in the East versus West. Yeah, I got nervous. I got nervous. Nervous has a two sides. Sometimes nervous will crack your game or will take away your game. Or sometimes, and always happens to me, that my nervous brings my game into the next level because I put more concentration on every shot that I make. I feel nervous every time I play. I was looking into it as very positive on my side because uh, I, 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 if God forbids, I really feel, I, I have a really uh, good feeling uh, that I will make good in this tournament, this US Open. And with regards to the US Open, I will just do my best and uh, I, I was hoping that uh, my friends and uh, families will be proud of me in this tournament mm -hmm. once more. And uh, in November, from November 25 to December 2, 2009, the Philippines were gonna held the World Pool Championship. It was a 10 ball. And uh, this is the biggest tournament this year. And it was, uh, I was hoping that I can do my best and I concentrate on every shot and uh, every game. The first time I played straight pool was in Parsippany. And then when I, I don't even know the rules and Jose Parega asked me, oh, join this tournament because you have nothing, nothing else to do. <clears throat> Before the tournament in the morning, the tournament should be started at 12 o'clock. Around 11 o'clock, Parega teaches me, the, Jose Parega teaches me uh, the, stra the strategies and the, how to position the balls. And also, I don't even know the rules. <clears throat> and luckily, this is always my first time I got this audit to me that I was won the tournament in Parsippany for my first ever and I, the first time I played straight pool. Uh, what's this guy? He's playing a good straight pool, the bird. Danny Barute. Yeah, yeah, Danny Barute. I played him twice. I brought here. I brought him to the loser side, and he came in for the. Finals, I come again for the finals, and I still I was able to beat him. And da Danny Baruto says, "What's the use of this book? Manali is not using the <laughs> the right thing, and he still beats me <laughs> because that's the first time I play straight pool."
the the reason for me the reason that I should quit of playing pool is when uh, when I won a, a world championship. That's the he thing. Was the Asian champion. Uh, that's the reason also when I quit the Asian the snooker. When I won the Asian snooker, that's the time I I quit playing or I I, I semi retire in the snooker when I got a very big name in snooker, the Asian snooker. And I was also a World Games runner up in Did snooker. Yeah, I miss snooker because uh, there's a lot of uh, most of the players. I'm not saying that uh, pool players are not gentlemen. I miss a, a great uh, the gentlemen's playing snooker, and I miss them. Yeah, there's a lot of good players in the uh, U.S. Open because most of them are. Uh, are looking for the title, which is a great title, and uh, but I was hoping that a apron <laughs> or <laughs> uh, that I will play apron the finals. At least if I, whoever wins, it's still the Filipino or or my idol gonna win the tournament. <laughs> He's uh, uh, 24 years older than me. No, I, I he became really famous was uh, when he won in 1999 in uh, Wales, Cardiff Wales, the the World Pool Championship in Cardiff, Cardiff Wales. That's the time that uh, Apron's name was boom in the Philippines, and also like also the pool the pool pool uh, pool industry boom when Apron won the World Pool Championship. Now, nowadays, everybody can beat anybody. Uh, there's a lot of Filipinos that can beat Efren, can beat Chango, and even Efren also can beat that. Depends, but every day is a different day. You don't know how are you going to play on this day. Sometimes the balls, like what you said, sometimes the, the balls goes or against you, or sometimes goes along with you. And it depends, it depends. Uh, my 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 kids. I have a uh, nine years old, four years old, then uh, five months old. <laughs> my last names in English is to win, winner. Manalo means winner. And the thing is that, do you share your knowledge with other, with the young kids in Manila? Yeah, I shared, I shared my knowledge, and uh, if they are really serious, I'll try my best to, to help them out and uh, give them support. Okay. I give lessons in Manila for free, especially for who are dedicated to that game, and. Uh, the, oh, when I also when I also get a world title, I am planning to have a pool academy to help uh, those who are aspiring to become a, a world champion. Thank you very much, Jim, for the time, for this uh, opportunity. Thank you, Jim. <laughs>